long have you been outside today? Uh, been outside all day. Outside all day? Okay. And what are you feeling like right now? Okay. Okay. And what if, when's the last time? Are you drinking water outside? I've got a couple of bottles today. A couple of bottles today? Okay. When's the last time you ate? Uh, okay. So let's go ahead. I'm going to kind of loosen you up, get some airflow in there. And what was your rating on that special? 10 of 7. 10 of 7. I do my loosen in his boots. get you some fluids, light or relax, get those electrolytes back in you. Um, make sure that you're eating throughout the day, taking those breaks, getting out of the sun so you're not able to get you taken care of there. Before we do that, do you have any allergies that we need to be aware of? Uh, Broken a couple bones? Okay, that's good. Put that a little bit up there. And then, can I have a kit? Can I do starter kit, please? Let take. You don't have to really stick them. I'm not gonna. Okay. <laughs> so this is my first experience um, being in COIC out on a fob and running a real world aid station. This is also the first time that we've been a part of a joint mission um, in a joint environment with Air Force, Navy, and Army all present. So I think at the end of the day, you know, customs and courtesies, those are the same across all branches of service. Um, this being the first exposure I've had to working with joint service, you know, joint services and sister services. Um, it's interesting because some of our you know, processes and procedures are slightly different. So that's what these exercises are for, is to familiarize ourselves and you know, be able to work together because at the end of the day, it's you know, same fight, same mission. So great question. So what I'm looking to improve on um, is to, as an NCO, to ensure that you know, we've got right processes and procedures in place to run a functioning aid station and be able to treat you know, those real world medical injuries and that we're taking advantage of that downtime or those soldiers that come in from the war exercise that, you know, have illnesses or, you know, accidents happen. Um, anything that we can do, it's hot out. That's what we're here for. So we want to make sure that we're trained up and proficient in our skill set and able to take care of soldiers. So being a global medic and being present in this environment um, definitely offers a different skill set and trains us for that real world environment and that real mission and deployment when that comes. So that way when we are downrange and in the fight, We've got the proper skill set. You know, we know how to interact with the FOB, with the FOB and the different, you know, services that are present. Um, what those interactions look like, how we communicate to soldiers and get that information out there, what we can do, how we're here to help, and ensure that we're maintaining that right level of medical care. So we're here with the 4005th out of Houston, Texas. Um, it's a U.S. Army Hospital. We're here to provide real-world medical care. Um, we're proficient in our tasks and drills, and you know we're thankful and fortunate enough to be able to work with the sister services and be able to train on this mission and offer that support.